story that uh, we've had to sit tight on uh, whilst there's been quite a lot of angst and outrage, which is understandable, uh, on the internet about this case. I'm going to say that UK Column uh, was um, aware very early on. Uh, we have wasn't it? September last year. We've had the pleasure of meeting uh, the mother of the children and her partner. And we are happy to state again today that we have total confidence in the testimony of the two children who are speaking about horrific abuse. We also have full confidence in the mother and indeed her partner um, that uh, they did all of the right things by discovering what had happened to the children and then informing uh, social services. Now, we are not going to uh, reveal the identity of the children. This has already been done over the internet, but the UK column will not be doing that. So this is the uh, photograph we're prepared to show of the two children. Um, so th they are at the centre of a Hampstead satanic ritual abuse case. They are discussing, or the children of um, have exposed um, a number of abusers, people within the establishment, within churches, within schools, within social services, within the police. Uh, quite extraordinary what then happened. So let's recap. There's the local social services, Barnet, took the children away from the mother who had taken all the right action. Uh, children taken away within 24 hours. And of course, they've still not been returned uh, to the mother and her partner. The Met operates a satanic abuse unit and has done for some time. Uh, all, all of the information coming into the UK column indicates that the Met satanic abuse unit took no action. Met police who tried to help in the case, tried to help around the family, were threatened by other police. The Met Police at one stage tried to break into the home of the mother uh, but were stopped because unknown to the police, uh, the mother's barrister was present. Uh, the police have bizarrely leaked their interview with the children in which these youngsters um, are shown going through a very, very strange interview. Many people have called it a brutal interview mm. process with the police and the Met Police are now claiming that an eight and a nine-year-old have retracted their statements. Uh, physical examination of the children has already proved that they have been uh, physically abused. The Russian grandparents have been sidelined from caring for the children. The family courts, of course, are remaining utterly secret. And as we might expect, there's been a complete uh, press and media blackout. So the mainstream media yeah. totally silent. Uh, now, the school that uh, the events have occurred around is this one, which is Christchurch Primary School. And uh, uh, strangely or perhaps not, the school website has now been down for several weeks. And if you want to get into their website now, you have to go through some firewall. sort of security yeah. firewall. Um, so, Louise, I know that uh, you've had a look at the area and you found yeah. that at least uh, some of the information that came out of the children... Uh, yeah. rang true. I had nightmares over this after seeing some of this in, um, back last year, um, but I decided I was going to I was going to go up to Hampstead and just check out the locations that the kids, the children were saying, and whereabouts they were. And uh, Sam, the blogger, accompanied me. And uh, amazingly, the school is on a lower level with a very short passageway, um, <coughs> short passageway um, between the school and the church side of the church, the other side of the church. There is a children's day nursery from naught to four years old. Um, very various little doors. We then continued walking down some steps where exactly as the other the children said, there were other schools. Uh, we went along to the train station where there was a shoe shop, exactly where the children described. <coughs> a children's party shop was also re-newly um, boarded up. Right. <coughs> so every one of those locations the children mentioned was word for word as they said as we walked around and um, mm. it sent shivers down the spines all of us. So for those uh, people <coughs> who've actually seen the video testimony of the youngsters, it is very, very detailed, very accurate. The children describe uh, sexual practices they could not possibly know about at their age. They, descri they des describe people's bodies in intimate detail 
uh, how would they know that? <coughs> uh, we are yet to discover whether there is any form of proper investigation going and on. That's by what the that needs to be done, isn't it? The, the people that they're mentioning just brought in and examined, and examined, and then it can be put to bed. But yep. it doesn't look like.